Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with another math problem today. Here's the problem I'm going to be showing you today. Yesterday we kind of talked about linearization and how to, you know, use it to find a linear approximation for a function. Well, today I'm going to be showing you kind of one of the uses for this, um, which is kind of interesting and, and a little bit useful, which is to use linear, linearization to estimate, you know, kind of complicated values, uh, like for example, the square root of 0 0.9. So the problem I'm going to be showing you is we're going to find the linearization of f of x equals square root of x plus 1 at a equals 0. And then we're going to use that to approximate the square root of 0 0.9. So the idea is that, uh, you know, obviously the square root of 0 0.9 would be something that would lie uh, on this function f of x. So we're going to use the linear approximation, which should be you know, pretty close to the square root of x plus 1 around this point. And we're going to use that to come up with a value that's pretty close to the square root of 0 0.9. So again, it is just an approximation of the square root of 0 0.9. It's not going to give us that exact value, obviously. But dealing with a linear function is a lot easier than dealing with uh, a square root function, for example. Um, so linearization is really kind of useful for that kind of thing. So uh, let's kind of jump into it here. Uh, so again, we're going to want to use the linearization formula, which is going to involve f of x or f of a. It's going to involve the derivative of f so that we can find f prime of a. And then it's going to have an x minus a in there. So we already know our a, we already know our f, but we do need to find the derivative of f so that we can use that. So let's start with that. First, we're just going to find f prime of x, which... What I would recommend is instead of thinking of this as the square root, let's think of f of x as uh, x plus 1 to the 1 half power. So you always want to remember that taking the square root of something is the same as raising it to the 1 half power. So x plus 1 to the 1 half is the same as the square root of x plus 1. So now we can just do power rule and then chain rule. So power rule, or I'm sorry, chain rule says leave the inside alone. So we'll call this our inside function. We'll leave our inside alone and we'll just take the derivative of the outside part. So we'll bring the one half down in front, leave the inside alone, and then lower the, the power by one. So one half minus one is negative one half. And then we're going to multiply this by the derivative of our inside. Well, the derivative of x plus one is just one. So multiplying that by one isn't really going to do anything. So this is the same as uh, having a negative power is the same as bringing it down to the denominator. And then having a, a one half power is the same as doing a square root. So this is the same as one over two times the square root of x plus one. Those are equivalent. So we know our f prime now. So what our linearization formula has is the linearization of x is f of a plus f prime of a times x minus a. So we're going to need to plug our a, which is 0, into f, and we're also going to need to plug it into f prime. First, let's go ahead and find f of 0. So plugging 0 in for f, into x, into our function f, we're going to get 0 plus 1, which is 1, and then we're going to have the square root of 1, which is 1. And then for f prime of 0, we're going to go to our function f prime here, and we're going to plug in 0 for x. So plugging in 0 here will give us 0 plus 1, which is 1. The square root of 1 is still 1. 1 times 2 is 2, so we're going to have 1 over 2. So we know our f of 0 is 1, our f prime of 0 is 1 half. Now we can just kind of plug that into our linearization function here. So we know f of a is instead going to be replaced by 1. Um, and then we're going to have f prime of a, which is going to be replaced by 1 half. We just found that there. And then x is going to stay as x. a is 0. We were given that. So that's easy. So now, just to kind of simplify this, this is going to give us 1 plus 1 half x. So this is our linearization, but we're not quite done yet. What we need to do now is use that linearization 
to approximate the square root of 0 0.9. So remember, this linearization function is extremely similar to our original function near x equals 0. So what we want to think about here is what would we have to plug into our original function to find the square root of 0 0.9? Well, if we plugged in negative, if we plugged in x equals negative 0 0.1, plugging that into our original function would give us negative 0.1 plus 1, which is 0 0.9, and then we'd be taking the square root of that. So if we wanted to find the exact value of the square root of 0 0.9, we could imagine plugging x equals negative 0 0.1 into our original function. But instead, what we want to do is use our linearization to approximate this value by looking at this same x value in our linear approximation instead of in our original function. So what we're actually going to do is plug in x equals negative 0 0.1 into our linearization. So doing that, we'll take our linearization and we'll plug in negative 0 0.1. So doing that will give us 1 plus 1 half times negative 0 0.1, which will give us 1 minus, so 1 half is the same as 0 0.5. 0 0.5 times negative 0 0.1 would give us minus 0 0.05, which means that this is 0 0.95. So the square root of 0 0.9 is about 0 0.95. And we did that using our linear approximation of our function. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell icon so you'll be notified of my new videos. For the rest of the week, I'm going to keep going over some other uses and, and practice problems of linearization and differentials. Kind of similar to this, but we're going to kind of build off this for the rest of the week. So be sure to check back for more.